Cora, look at how big you are. Yes. Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. Mark here. Beautiful, sunny, mild day. Uh, it's been uh, it's been quite mild for January here in Manitoba. Uh, you know the. Uh, the temperature has been in around the uh, the single digits below zero, which is good, uh, and uh, we'll take it. Uh, so we're just going out to feed. Tara's already beat me out there. Heard the door close. I was doing uh, doing a project, and I thought, uh, well, I'll take you guys along and uh, see how everybody is doing uh, up front here and in the building. Did I forget you? You left me behind. Hey. I heard you leave. Hi Levi. So Levi Meadow and the two boys up here uh, lost a companion last week so uh, we did lose Daisy. Uh, now we didn't lose Daisy up front here. Daisy kind of left the area so all they know is she uh, she is gone somewhere so well, no, maybe that they, might uh, uh, might ease the pain a little bit, I don't know. When she passed, after I handled her body. Oh, yes. I came out and uh, Levi, she, he kept calling her. So I spent some time with him smelling, you know, that she's and told him he's gone and she's gone and he's, he hasn't cried since, so, or he hasn't, not cried. Called, called out. Called out yeah. for her since I did that. So it's very important that you, especially with horses, they, yeah, hi yeah. Billy, <laughs> smell good. Um, you have to let them say goodbye to the body um, or the smells or, they have to know that it's complete, they're gone. Or else he would have continued to look for her. Hey bud. Hey. Little morning breakfast. I see uh well, I love Carl's the over. Goes yeah. Right in there. Carl's over there. <laughs> we uh we planned to get that front piece yeah. fixed, but uh there was just so much on the agenda. By the time spring comes there's going to be a hole in the back wall too. So. Yeah, well, let's hope not. Yeah, maybe we'll build another one of these yeah. here. These, uh, this one here works good. We thought about adding another one exactly like it uh, right beside it. Uh, to have two here because the prevailing winds come in from this direction. Uh, so that's why the opening's on this side. Uh, Tara already fed everybody in here. So come in and take a quick uh, checkup. Muscovies like to perch <laughs> up here. Good morning! Good morning, everybody! Yes! How are you? <laughs> Fernando, what are you doing, buddy? In the corner? So loud in there. Oh, boy. Uh, so the days are getting longer. <laughs> um, we've been watching, um, watching sunrise sunsets, and, and uh, I think today's sunset is at 4:43 p.m. Uh, so you know it was we're, we've already gained 15 minutes uh, in the last week so of sunshine when it does come out. So that's exciting. So only two more months left. Uh, mid March things should so it uh, depends. Sometimes early March, but usually we get a blizzard that rolls in around uh, around mid to the end of March, uh, and then moving into April's not uh, not too too bad. Good morning, Cora. Hear the ears. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she's drinking all her water. Yeah, I did that. Nope. I hate this pitchfork in here with her. Uh, she says, I just want to play. <laughs> Open the gate so she down. Our pooper scooper. <laughs> Cora, look at how big you are. Yes. <laughs> ah, it's my toe. You're getting big. 
Yeah. Jeez. She's getting heavy. Okay. <laughs> Pass me the milk. Where's the milk? Oh, here it is over here. All right. Uh, this isn't actually uh, a, a Dairyland milk. This is just the, the milk container we use to uh, mix her powdered milk in. Yeah, she drank four liters of water last night. Whoops. Sorry. Four liters of water last night, too. Right, four liters of milk. Okay. <laughs> go. Go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she sucks that down pretty quick, too. Yeah. And she is eating hay. So, but she uh, she loves her milk. So she's down to one uh, one, one container a day. A day. And so her boots we're, are good. So we're weaning her down. She's also off the apple cider vinegar. Oh, all done? Almost. Get every last drop, Cora. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, and then she also gets oh, oh. what? No, you want your kibble? No, your milk slimy. <laughs> your own milk slimy. <laughs> oh, slimy. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh my God, the handle is just slime. <laughs> Oh. And then four liters of milk or water. Yeah, she's not as excited for the water as she is the. She thinks the milk. it's milk because it's coming out of here. As long as she doesn't push it, <laughs> try to milk out of it. So, I mean, it's good to keep an amount like that you know <laughs> how much they're drinking. So that would have been her pulling down eight meters yesterday. Okay. You got the alpaca yeah. lined up. I just gotta feed them down here. Good morning. Hang on a minute. We just gotta get the other guys. <laughs> After we do this gate too. Yeah, Sheldon was. Uh... Oh, Snow was standing there with her head up. Was she? Yeah, some of these gates you can see we've we've patched up with twine. Um, Sheldon has whacked them and created the hole, so we're gonna have to buy some more of these gates, or at least um, the uh, the inner workings of it, anyway. All right, all the little ones are over in the corner there. Hey. All right, the water's good. Good morning, guinea fowl. No, I'm just saying good morning to them because they're obviously uh, saying good morning to me. <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody said, "Wow, is your barn ever clean?" Yes, I sweep every day. Yeah, always good to have a clean barn. And how are all the pea fowl doing? Tails are growing. Yeah, it's slowly getting longer. So we've got four peacock and three peahens. So you can see four, the difference. Two. Is that three? Three. Sorry, yeah. Three. three. Yeah, down there. Yeah, so the uh, the peahens have the green neck and no long tail. And of course the uh, the peacocks have the uh, the blue and the long tail. Well, it will be long once it grows in. Daddy got his 
straight, just one hand under the chin. You're slimy. <laughs> You're so slimy. Uh, well, her head's now up to the top of the gate. I know. It's getting big. Yeah. You're so slimy. It's a good thing I love you. Your own slime. <laughs> so, it's so sweet when she says. Huh? No milk in there. No. All right. They're just itching. Look at Chansey. She's like, let me in. Slow down. Come on, Piper. Good girl. Like we said, we have a. Like, I'm not sure if we've told said on the last video. We do have a lot of seniors right now. Piper was a little stiff the other day. Petey and Piper are on borrowed time. Lexi, borrowed time. Blackie, borrowed time. Paula, her, her, her spine's starting to curve a little. You know, there's, uh, this is the sad part about rescuing, but you, you know, you're thankful for the time you get with them. Um, Pedro's jacket stay on straight. Oh, uh, it looks... No, it's not. No? I can't see it from... Uh... I don't know if it's the way he lies down. Oh, there's Turbo. Oh, there's Turbo. Give me my hay. Yeah. Mom, where's my hay? I'll go oh. greens first. Hang on. Okay, there's the, uh, the wheat. Is that it, Turbo? No, no he's, he's like, he's walking. like, hey. He's like, I want the hay, right? That's what you want, the hay. <laughs> I don't want those little grains. It's too much work. <laughs> uh, and the pumpkin. Uh, it looks like Petey and Piper are still. Yeah, they're, slow. yeah, they're wandering out. Pedro, how's your jacket? Should we fix your jacket? Yeah, it is a little crooked. Okay. All the excitement of breakfast. <laughs> the two slow pokes. Out of bed. Yeah, she's all covered in hay. All right, enjoy your breakfast, kids. So the view of the farm from our house deck. Of course, the animals are all locked up. Big concern was the pond while it was freezing and when it's uh, thawing. We decided to let them in this year. So it's uh, like I said, a beautiful um, morning, and uh, the garden is uh, well, it's under snow. <laughs> so there's the garden area. Uh, there's the the trellis part of the uh, the garden area and then the greenhouse is there which uh, we may start uh, doing something in March uh, we will see how things go so that's uh, that's the back of the property there um, Atlas is our Bernese mountain dog hi buddy <laughs> he's hanging out in this area Tara went and um, hi uh, she put up this uh, poly, this vapor barrier poly, uh, into this area here, and she did actually put his bed in his little house, but he keeps dragging it out. So he doesn't, uh, he, you know, he's an outside dog. 
He does go inside when it's really cold, but um, but he gets too hot when he's in there. So, hey, eh, don't you? Yeah, so you hang out here. <laughs> yeah, so when it gets down to about minus 25 uh, Celsius, we bring him uh, in the house. Hey, yeah, but I think you're happier out here. <laughs> Uh, and then inside we have our uh, our other kids, which is Toby, our male Westie. Hi, bud. And uh, Maggie. Where's Maggie? Maggie outside. Oh, there she is. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Maggie, I think, is. Uh, we're trying to figure out her age. She's, I think, eleven. Uh, he's 10, hey, and Atlas this. is 8. I just found this the other day. So, Atlas is a pure Bernese Mountain Dog. That's his certificate. Oh, okay. So, he does have a certificate. And October 10th, 2014. Yeah. Oh. So, he's 8. 8. Yeah. 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 Mm. Now, um, something Tara has been working on... Uh, her bears so she did make um, she did make some bears for a few different people yeah. and um, she made some green ones for uh, it, well, it was a it was a nanny that passed yeah okay and so they're the, memory bears memory bears um, and then I just did well we ended up I ended up doing six for the family can, can I sh show without the family well, you can show the green ones. You don't. I can show the green ones. I can't show yeah. you the blue ones yet. They're so nice. I mean, little purses. And yeah. Everything. So we want to wait until um, she gets them. Before yeah, we she's got to get them first before what they we look publish like. a photo. Um, and now I'm doing um, a wedding dress into uh, into a bears. memory bear. Into memory bears. Yeah. So taking an old wedding dress and making them into wedding teddy bears. You mm -hmm. know, like something more adaptable that you can have out. It's cool. So some of the uh, the bears that she has done, not this one. This one's Nix. <laughs> this one's Nix. Yeah, this one's Nix. <laughs> uh, up here. So there's uh, there's she... some of the bears that she has done. The middle one is JD. That's for our grandson from. I was married. He's not old enough to have it yet and take care of it. So. Foster grandson. Foster grandson. Yeah. So we did fostering years yeah. ago. So. Oh, Nix, you're back again. Hi. She knocked the food dish off the counter she, this morning. Yeah, she's... Big she, crash. She's everything. like that. She's, uh... She doesn't get what she wants. Were you here yesterday when she threw this off? No. Did she throw... Oh, yeah, we're sitting there having coffee, and all of a sudden you hear this hit the floor. And she's <laughs> and Marlene was looking right at her, and she just tossed it. Uh, and then, of course, Tara's spice racks and uh, everything she grows in the My garden. My apothecary? Is that what it's called? Apothecary? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong if I'm in the, in the comments. Um, medicinal, herbal, teas, whatever, all harvested from the yard. Or acquired through friends in their yard because I couldn't grow it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and then some of our other furry friends. We've got, <laughs> who is that? That looks like, that's Rhea. Yeah. Oh, look at Daddy. Hi. And this is Tear. Hi, Tear. Hi, buddy. How you doing? It's like he closes his eyes so that you can't see him. I know. <laughs> There's Lucifer. So that's number four. Hey. What are you working on? Just hanging out in the basement? And then we have uh, Coda here. And we should have a Nara. Oh, there's a Nara there. A Nara! <laughs> uh, something that I showed in a, a previous video was uh, this carding machine. So we got this cleaned up. We haven't uh, done a run yet on it. So this is an old carding machine that Tara picked up at an auction. Uh, so we have yet to, uh, we've run it, but we haven't actually processed anything on it. Uh, so it has uh, a power switch here, but what I decided was a good idea was to have a foot pedal 
uh, and the uh, the plug just plugs into that foot pedal so you want when you want to operate it you can do it uh, turn it on and shut it off uh, with your uh, your feet so that uh, we'll uh, we'll play around with that in the future of course we've got all of our uh, our wool processing stuff a lot of stuff down here as well a lot of spinning wheels uh, some of them uh, most of them work some of them need a little bit of repair uh, Tiana has her favorites for um, for processing. So this here is my laser engraving room. And so I've got a few different laser engravers, a CO2 laser, uh, an X-Tool M1, and an X-Tool D1. Uh, so with uh, winter, uh, you know, with winter upon us, uh, there's not really much we're doing outside. So I am in uh, in this room here just kind of playing around with uh, with this equipment. Um, something exciting that we got. Um, I actually uh, in engraved this. Uh, we got the uh, Canadian Business Award for uh, the best uh, animal rescue in Manitoba. So we got an email. Um, just uh, over the holidays, saying that we got this award from uh, Corporate Vision, uh, Canadian, the Canadian Business Award for 2023. So that's pretty exciting. So what I did is uh, I did some engraving. I picked up these tiles at a, um, at a thrift store, Habitat for Humanity. So I thought, well, this would be a neat way to display the awards we've gotten over the years. Uh, so we've gotten this uh, Expedia. We were top 10 most interactive places in Canada in 2018. Uh, also in 2018, uh, our local municipality, so we were the Small Business of the Year for 2018. And then last year uh, was the Prestige Award, so the, uh, the top animal specialist rescue in Canada, Animal Rescue Specialist of the Year. Uh, and then uh, Best Animal Rescue for Manitoba uh, in, uh, in 2023. So, so that's exciting. Uh, so something I was working on, I'm going to be releasing a video later on in the week. Um, you know, displaying these out when we have people come out to the farm for visits. Uh, just, you know, have those out there uh, to showcase, you know, what we've, our accomplishments over the year. And then I thought about this. So I did uh, this here. So this is to check out our YouTube channel and it's got a QR code and you can just uh, scan that with a phone. So if you aren't subscribed, uh, click on that subscribe button. If you're interested in laser engraving, uh, I usually post those videos kind of midweek. Uh, so uh, you can check that out. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. So stay warm, stay happy, stay healthy. And uh, if you have any questions at all about uh, any of our videos, uh, check them out down below. Uh, we do have playlists, so you can always check out those playlists uh, on previous videos uh, from previous years. Take care, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.